Romans 8, verse 28. For you not to work is also a God, God's plan. For your business to fail is also a God's plan. If you reach a level where you know God is concerned, it means God is aware why you have lack. God is aware why you are failing. Because out of that failure, he can use the failure to bring good. Sometimes if God gives you many things and you are not aware of how he is loving you and how you love him, it is possible to lose that easy. Luke 12, verse 24. We may not be aware that we love to depend on people than God. We might not be aware. We might be thinking that when we are depending on people, it's God who's answering us. If we reach a level whereby we depend unto God, we can be better than a king that is very rich. This is the time that when you search for a job, you say, you know what, I want a job that I will get a business out of it or make a business out of it. And I support God's work. That job will come in Psalm 66, verse 12. There have to be a situation like this that you are going through, my sister, where you have to lose a job. Men have to override you and also oppress you. You have to be depressed. But if truly you are with God, holding on, you will be brought to a place of abundance. You can save small money for business and save money also for the kingdom. Remember, when you save money for the kingdom, you give it, isn't it? And you say, okay, in my salary, I'm giving this. And then also, I'm, I'm saving this. Okay, this is for myself. You know what will happen? God will increase it. Man will be oppressing you. You will face a lot. You will see people who are of your standard or people you went to school with or your contemporaries. You find the people of your level. You find they are ahead. But when you are with God, you, will not, you won't know how you've overtaken them. If you rely on God, you trust God, it's only God who will honor you. He wants to take you to a place where you will even hire people in your house. Philippians 4 verse 19. And my God will liberally supply, meaning fill until full, your every need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Let's, let, let's listen to that verse. It says fill until full. It means he will fill you and you will be full. Amen. Listen, he can give you a small job, but that small job will make a business of, of millions until full. Feel is a, a small quantity. Until full is abundance. How can we reach that level? John 15 verse 7. When you are not filled until full, when there's, not, there's still empty, you remain in his ways. You remain in his ways. He said, you will fill me until full. If you believe God that God says, he will fill you until full. When you don't see that, you are in his word. If God wants to take you to a place of what he has promised, we need to be a Christian of the word. Believing the word. And challenges when they come, they'll be searching for what? For that word. What is happening to us here now is, oh, somebody got a job. Oh, somebody's doing business. What is happening with me? It's something good. It's dealing with your pride. It's breaking something so that when you reach there, it will take you to a place of what? Of abundance. I pray that the blessing you are crying for, you will see them now in Jesus' name. Amen. May God open your spiritual eyes. You stop complaining. You stop worrying. You stay in the word. After you pray, asking for a job, when you don't see a job, you complain, isn't it? And whereas the one who wants to give you a job knows when to give you a job. 
Sometimes he can delay you so that they, they, they speak against you. Sometimes he can delay you so that you learn people. You must know these people around you. You must know them. He can delay you to teach you who's around you. Who is with you, who is not with you. Psalm 37 verse 35. Psalm 37 verse 35. The Bible talks about the Russians. If truly you are staying in that word, holding on against the challenges, the Russians will never beg bread. You will never be, you will never be a beggar. The violent people, the rough people, can look like they are rich for a short time. It's for a short time. Amen. If you try to look at them, you will question your life. You can look at them, you question your life, why this thing is happening to me? Why I have this problem? Why violent people are like that? They prosper very fast. And they die so quick. What God wants you to do is to take every step in a very good way. When you're a righteous person, you will never beg a bread. I'm telling you now. You will never beg a bread. You will never beg money. God will honor you. It is the worry that is happening on you. That is blocking the blessing to you. I want Amen. to say that. God wants you to work in a very beautiful place. You are going to get a job in a very beautiful place. Amen. Amen. If you, that work must take you to a business. Psalm 90 verse 17. You stay in the word. Amen. Be faithful. Amen. In that small job you are doing. Amen. In that small business you are doing. Amen. The God of mercy will see you through. Amen. God wants to give you a grace that whatever you are going to work with your hands, when you confirm it, it means he agrees that you will do it. It becomes part of your life. Yeah, okay, listen to this. This might be telling you that the reasons why you are failing right now, it's because you are doing someone's job. If you are doing your own job, even when it's tough, you will stand. You are about to receive a job that will lead you to a business. Amen. God will confirm. Amen. I said God will confirm. Amen. You are about to do a business that will make you stable. Amen. I say you are about to see confirmation. If you believe, say amen. The reasons why you don't know the scriptures, you can't read the Bible, your prayer is down, is worry. Worry does that. It manipulates the, the word of God in you and brings darkness and confusion. Many times we want to help ourselves. Let's allow God to help us. Amen. If nothing is happening, it's God. Are you hearing me? Amen. This time, something will happen. But don't help yourself. Amen. Where you are waking, someone will say, can we steal this and we sell? You forget how you got the job. You were here. By the time of voting, you were here. Don't forget you came here by the time of voting. You are voting God. If you believe, say amen. amen. I want to say congratulations by one confirmation. Are we Christians? Many people who are coming to church are not Christians. Christians to live like Christ. Are we Christians? Ask your neighbor. Are you a Christian? Are you living like a Christ Jesus? Are you living like Christ Jesus? You understand? Let's check our heart. If your heart is not right with God, please come forward. As you are coming forward, let's, are, let's clap hands for these people who are coming forward. Uh, just follow me by saying, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I come to you. I come to you. I realize I'm a sinner. I realize I'm a sinner. I was doing things according to my understanding. Do things according to my understanding. From today, Lord, from today, I am coming back to you. I'm coming back to you. I want to do things. I want to do things according to your word. According to your word. I want to follow you. To follow you. I want to be your child. I, want to be your child. I disregard all I disregard that all I, was doing, I was doing and I want to do your will. I want to do your Thank, will. You, Jesus, Thank you, Jesus, 
for dying for me at the cross of Calvary. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior in the name of Jesus. From today, I will follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. God bless you. Thank you.